that comes to money, St. Gregory the Great in Williamsville says that it is experiencing a large deficit. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley says a recent parish letter states many parishioners are worried their contributions could end up paying for the diocese legal settlements. St. Gregory the Great Parish on Maple Road is considered one of the largest and wealthiest Catholic churches in western New York. It has more than 5,000 registered families and includes a school. But a couple of weeks ago, parishioners received this letter stating for the first time in more than 10 years, St. Greg's is running a more than a half a million dollar deficit and has been forced to cut costs and eliminate staff positions. I think that people are staying away. St. Greg parishioner Paul McGee tells us he's not attending church as often as he did because he can't condone what he calls the lack of accountability by the diocese in the handling of the clergy abuse scandal. I don't feel confident in this leadership at this at this diocese. Um, and I feel like giving donations to this bishop through our parishes is a sign for me that I accept their behavior and I don't. The St. Greg's letter tries to ensure churchgoers' financial support will stay in the parish and is needed to maintain the buildings. But it explains all area Catholic churches are required to pay a diocesan assessment. However, it states, quote, it's important to note that these assessments are not utilized to fund the ongoing legal settlements from the diocese. As long as Bishop Malone continues to push to the parishes, that he's in charge, he's the right man for the job, and he's the only one that can fix this, and bringing somebody in from the outside is gonna change it. What, what really is gonna change? Nothing. The diocese responded to our request for an interview with a statement issued by St. Greg's. It says the letter speaks for itself and contributions are needed to meet the ongoing financial needs of the parish. Now we did reach out to the pastor of St. Greg's for comments but we were told he's not available today. Live in the newsroom, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.